All right. Ah, shit. It's a little bit off. All right. That's perfect. That's perfect. I assume. We'll find out. It's probably not. I kind of suck at this. Fuck you getting sick. God damn it, man. Um. So. <laughs> I got a little nasty surprise at the end of my grinding there. <laughs> oh, boy. There was, um. I mean, like. What happened was I got up to the next checkpoint, which was floor 236. But my main character was tired and most of the main party was tired by then. So I was kind of like, all right, I'll wait till next time. So I'm going to go back down. But these monsters, these shadows, were not too terribly difficult. So I'm just going to keep on grinding. So I did that. I kept on grinding for I got a new party and I kept on grinding for a while. And then, out of fucking nowhere, I got these two shadows that I had never, that I'd never seen before. And they fucking... I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, whatever, you know, maybe I just, I just, I just missed them. I just haven't gotten them yet. Shouldn't be too difficult. I'm gonna check them out, you know, figure out their weaknesses and whatnot, and then move on. So I'm doing that, you know, I set Fuka to analyze one of them. And then, shortly after that, the first one that attacks uses Megadolin, which, if you don't know, is that beastly attack I have been using against most of the bosses that ignores, um, that ignores your defenses. It, ba it does almighty damage, which is basically unblockable damage. Nobody has resistances to it. Nobody has weakness to it. It's just magic damage that will always hit. <laughs> so, <laughs> what happened <laughs> was that two of my party members straight up died. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Ken and Koromaru. They just died. And then I had, um, Igis on... Why the fuck are you moving? Even this, even... See, dude. Look at that. I'm not doing that. Even my PlayStation controllers must be broken. There's something inside of my house that causes... Let me see. There's probably gonna be like, yeah. Um, so obviously I'm not going to Tartarus tonight. So, and then it took my main character down to 1 HP, which, finally I got to find out how that accessory worked. It turns out it is, it's once per battle, but the accessory doesn't go away. So, um, unfortunately I don't, sorry. I wish I did for you. I love you. Um, so, <laughs> my, my main character down to 1 HP would have died if I had not had that accessory equipped. I guess down to like 100 health, and keep in mind, she had like 650 HP or something ridiculous. She has something, she has a ridiculous amount of HP. And then Ken and Koromaru are just dead. So I'm panicking. Because there's another one that still has yet to use their turn. Thankfully, that person went and used, hey, we're good again. That person, that other shadow, went and used an attack that he blocked. He blocked it completely. And I'm like... Oh man, I am like, praise the Lord, hallelujah to the Almighty! I live! I was so happy. And then I got to escape right afterwards, so I ran away like a little girl. The tail between the legs, I'm gone! But man, that, oh man, I was so scared. I was so scared. So then from that point onwards, whenever I saw that group, that group of two, I just ran the fuck away. I was, I was gone. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that problem. Let's do this. This should be the last time I ever have to hang out with this fatty. Yeah, you're not irre you, you, you're irreplaceable. You are replaceable. 
to a most definitely replaceable. He is the fatty that eats. Has plenty of those to go around. I don't think I ever created that one. There's a lot of persona I need to make. But I'm lazy. And a whole lot of Changing epiphany, all because of me. I'm so youthful. All right, so I don't get to go to Tartarus tonight because I have to go on a walk with Igis. Taking my valuable time to go out on a walk. Plus, I'm sure there's somebody that was still like tired or sick or whatever, so that walk went well with the calendar plans. music. I don't think I've heard this one before. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, well, the world's gonna end. The world's gonna end. So, let's talk about homework. I don't, I don't see why people would do that. Like, people that think, that they genuinely think, if they genuinely think the world's gonna end, then why would you continue doing, you know, like, homework and shit? That was one of my one of the, one of my friends actually when the whole rapture thing was going down. He actually um oh wait what oh the three over that one. Hope I know that shit. Um when you know like that when there was that whole spiel about all oh, the rapture is coming on what was it like May twelfth or whatever I don't I, I can't actually remember because I didn't pay that much attention to it. But one of my friends actually walked around during that and was like, hey, I mean, if you if you think you're gonna be raptured, and obviously you don't need any of your shit, sell your house to me for like $20. Sell your possessions to me for like $20. And every single one was like, are you crazy? Of course not. Like, man, why are you out there preaching if you don't even believe it? It's not very convincing if you're not even convinced yourself. Shit. But then I heard the dude. I heard the dude was like, "Oh, I was just off by six months. It's gonna happen in in, uh, in, in in December." Like, oh, okay, dude. Sure deal. We've really never had a chance to talk, have we? It's almost coming of age day, you know. I used to just think. Bar mitzvah. Day. But now I wonder if I'm even gonna live long enough to celebrate it. Nope, you're not. We're all gonna die. You worry too much shit. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're We right. got this in the bag. You have my brilliant tactical genius behind you. How could you lose? People have been passing out. Others have gone missing. Dude, it's crazy. Senpai said it's because there are too many shadow victims and the memory revision can't keep up. It's all gotta be because of this Nick. Oh, and have you heard about that doomsday cult? 
They've been running around town telling everyone they see that the end of the world is coming. And we need to do something. And quick. But it's not just Nyx, you know. Two members of Strega are still alive. Yep. They haven't done anything yet. But I know that... We bodied them pretty hard last time, though. I mean, you gotta admit it. Take care of we kinda went too. nuts on them. Show them what the fuck was up. Wow. Such good friends that I trust you with my life. <laughs> I never would have imagined that happening last spring. <laughs> but then again, I never thought it would come to this. You know, I don't think it's completely hit me yet. It's just all so hard to believe. Hit him. But that doesn't mean we hit him. Be like, yeah, now it's hit you. <laughs> wait for it to happen. You're pretty cool, man. That thing was inside you for ten years, and you harnessed its power and made it your own. I'm glad I met you. It's embarrassing to say it, but, but that's really how I feel. We'll always be friends, right? I mean, even after this is all over. The show. Together to the end, man, that was kind of, that's a little gay. <laughs> that's a little, that's, that's leaning too far towards the gayness with me. That's not allowed. All right, I guess what up? Do I have an Aeon Persona? Do I do I do? I believe I got one. I'm not sure. You're deaf. You're hermit. You're impress. Uh oh. I do not have an Eon. Although I suppose it doesn't matter yet. Does it? It does not. Alright. I have no idea why I'm speaking this accent, but why not? Let's continue it. Let's play it on. Let's go, baby! I love myself some robots. I hope your creator created you with all the necessary parts for us to get it on. Yeah, that was a little weird. Holy crap, there's a lot of graffiti. Look at all that littering. People just have no self-respect. They have no respect for the earth. What a bunch of bastards. It's because she loves you. <gasps> Let's get it on. Robot on man love is such a beautiful thing. It's not weird at all. Isn't Japan doing that now anyway? Don't they have lifelike dolls that they make now? I'm pretty sure I remember reading something about some kind of a lifelike robot they were making and working on. And then of course, of course, somebody has to convert that technology to sex. I mean, how long did it take for the Kinect to be out before somebody was like, hey, I can make it so you could pretend you're rubbing somebody's boobies. That took about two weeks. Somebody's got to be working on a sex robot by now. Obviously, we're going to Tartarus. Whether you'll kick some shadow booty or his coin, then we're going. I don't need to know. We're going to Tartarus. Pip, pip, cheerio.